Hi, and welcome to part four of the Scanning with Meaning video series, featuring the Freestyle Libre system. My name is Lori Burrard. I am a nurse and certified diabetes educator. In this video, you're going to learn how to read your scan. We'll talk about how food, activity, and medication can change your readings. So let's get started. You've scanned your sensor, and now what? Your current glucose reading tells you where you are. It says 6.2. The trend arrow tells you where you're going. Ask yourself, are your readings rising, changing slowly, or falling? Here you can see it's changing slowly. The glucose graph tells you where you've been. Ask yourself, how much time am I spending in my target range? And think about when you were out of target range. That big hill between 4.30 and 8 o'clock is when your glucose readings were above target range. But you're back in target now. You were in target about half the time. Finally, this is your glucose message and the background color. They confirm you're in range. What could have changed your glucose in the middle of the night? It is important to consider the effects of food, activities, medication, illness, stress, and alcohol on your readings. Did you know that carbohydrates have the biggest impact on your readings? Part of diabetes self-management is following a healthy eating plan and paying attention to carbohydrates. Eating more carbohydrates than usual can make your numbers rise. Too little can make it fall. Let's say your usual breakfast is two slices of toast with peanut butter and a half a banana. This is what your scan could look like after breakfast. Your glucose is 6.2 and remaining steady. Maybe you were craving waffles instead, so you had two waffles with strawberries and syrup, containing more carbohydrate than usual. Later, you scan and you see your glucose is rising. Another day, you are out of toast, so you make yourself bacon and eggs. Lots of protein, but fewer carbohydrates. Two hours later, you scan and your glucose is falling. Can you see how the amount of carbohydrates can change your readings? Regular physical activity is part of diabetes self-management, but like carbohydrates, it can affect your readings. Let's say you walk daily for an hour after dinner. Here's what your scan could look like afterwards. Notice that your glucose came down, stayed in target range, and your trend arrow is steady. One day you return from your walk and decide to go for a bike ride. This is more exercise than usual. You scan and you see that your glucose is falling. Another day it's raining and you decide to skip your walk. That evening you scan and notice that your glucose is rising. Looking at all three scans, can you see the difference between usual exercise, more, or less exercise? Medication can also change your glucose. For example, you take your diabetes medication in the morning. Here is what your scan could look like. Note that your glucose is in range. The next day you take more medication than required. You scan and you see that your glucose is falling and below target range. On a different day, you forgot to take your medication. You scan, and your glucose is rising. See how taking the right amount, too much, or not enough medication can change your glucose? Did you know stress, illness, and certain medications can raise your glucose readings, while alcohol can lower them? You've been great at playing along, so let's summarize. It is important to scan often so you can learn how different foods, types of exercise, and medications can change your glucose. Your lifestyle changes can help you spend more time in target range. And remember to look at all four elements of your scan. Where you are, where you're going, and where you've been. The more you scan, the more you'll learn and the better you'll do. In our next video, I'm going to introduce you to reports that you can access right from your app or reader.
Until next time!